Hi everyone, it's Sean from Vixen Digital. Today I'm going to be showing you how to track phone number link clicks on your website using GA4 or Google Analytics 4. Um, it's really, really simple, really easy, just like our previous videos. It's really similar to the email link click uh, tracking as well with GA4. So we're going to just going to jump straight in and get into it. Um, I'm going to share my screen just so that you can see. And we're going to go back to visit our favorite e -com, fake e-commerce store, myfakeshop.com. And um, we're going to go to the contact page. Now, usually people will put their phone number in their header or sometimes in the footer. Uh, but in this case, you know, it will work in both ways. But in this case, we've got our phone number um, on our contact page down here, as you can see. So you'll need... GA4, Google Analytics 4, Google Tag Manager, and your website. And you need to make sure that you have correctly installed GA4, Google Analytics, and Google Tag Manager on your website. So we're going to go to Google Tag Manager, we're going to open it up, and we're going to be, first of all, making sure that you've already configured your variables. So if you haven't yet, or if you haven't, you may have done if you've already watched one of our videos, but if you haven't, if you go to variables, built-in variables, configure, and just make sure that you've got all of the click variables selected. And while you're there, you can do the forms as well. Um, and then, once you've got that, it's always worth setting up a all clicks um, trigger. So just to have a trigger for all clicks, so you can have that appear in your debug view. So to do that, if you were to click new, and then you will get this window pop up and you can go to the tr config trigger configuration, trigger type, and you'll have click all elements just here. If you click that, you can have all clicks and then you can save that. So once you have that, it's just something good to have just in case anything doesn't actually appear as a link click and instead appears at a click for whatever reason. Um, but once we have that, we can then go to the preview uh, uh, section and tool, which will bring up the Google Tag Assistant to connect to your website. Put your website domain URL uh, in uh, website URL into the um, into the box here and connect that. And then that will bring up your website in a debug window in a new tab. If you go ahead and start interacting with your site, navigate to the contact page or wherever your um, phone number is uh, on your website, and then go ahead and click the phone number. And what happens is usually is it all if it's a phone number. Um, link it will sometimes bring up say uh, a notification to call with FaceTime or if you've got a different kind of phone call provider um, I don't know WhatsApp maybe I don't know um, but it will bring that window up so once you've clicked that if you head back over to the tag assistant window in the next tab on the left hand side you will see um, your contact page that you visited and you'll see there's two clicks here so there's one's a click and one's a link click now if you click on the variables tab you will see ah what have we got click text click url brilliant and we've got link click okay as well so they're 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 the same okay so that's 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 pretty much the same the one difference is that this is a, a a link click event whereas this is just a click event right so this this click contains a link this one doesn't um, in this case we can use the link click one um, so I got you to set up the click trigger just so you know you have it there in your account and it you know makes things a lot easier going forward um, but you can set it up on the click if you wanted to but in this case we're going to set it up on the link click now we just need to remember some of this key information from the variables here so we just can actually keep this window open while we go back over to Google Tag Manager in Google Tag Manager, we can now start our building our trigger that's going to help our tag fire. Um, and the trigger is going to help our tag fire to on when, well, basically when somebody clicks that uh, phone number, right? So we're going to go trigger configure, new trigger, con trigger configuration, and we're going to select just links. And then some links. And then it was click URL, I believe. So if we go back over, we can go and have a look at the click URL, which is here. And we can see that the click URL is tel, which is telephone, and the phone number. So we can go back to uh, Google Tag Manager and say, well, the click URL contains 
telephone number, right? And we put that in. Now I have a good naming convention here. I'm going to put GA4. Um, oh, actually, no, it's not the tag. So I just this is just a phone number link click trigger. So I'm going to put phone number link click save, and then we can actually create the tag. So we go to tags, go to new tag, tag configuration, Google Analytics, GA4 event. Then we need to grab the measurement ID, which can be found in your admin section. If you go to data streams, and from data streams, click on your web data stream for your website, and then go to your measurement ID, copy that, bring that over to uh, Google Tag Manager, paste that in. And here you have the event name, which needs to be lowercase. So we can go phone number link click. When you're using spaces, you need to make sure that you use underscores. Um, and this is just the naming convention in GA4. When we go down, scroll down to our triggering down here, and in the triggering, we need to select that trigger that we've just created phone number link click. Once we've got that, then we can have another G, uh, uh, naming convention here. So GA4 phone number link click. And then just when you're, you know, creating these, just have a name. I mean, I've got like a, you know, a very simple naming convention here. Just make sure that you have a naming convention that makes sense for you and your team, especially if you've got more than one person that's obviously dealing with this. So it makes everything so much more simple in the long run. Um, right, so once we've got that, we can then actually, we can close these two tabs down, but then we can reopen the preview window. So we're just gonna completely refresh those. And then we're gonna reconnect our domain. And once again, we're gonna complete all of that that those testing steps we're going to complete that again so we're going to go to the contact page we're going to click on the phone number again and then we're going to go to tag assistant and then see whether our tag fired now in the summary we can see that it's successfully fired so that's really great news and then we, we go to actually go to that event of um, that actual link click and we can see if it yeah it fired on the right event right so all good if you click on this you actually get to see um, you know a, a, a preview of you know the, uh, the the reason you know the, the reason why it fired basically you've got these like green ticks right so it you know it it corresponded and it you know confirmed that all of these these conditions were matched and that's why it fired um, so for example if it doesn't fire for whatever reason you get a cross so you'd be able to troubleshoot okay maybe the click URL was a cross and it can you know so you didn't yeah you didn't have something that was um, uh, so then you can look to, to rectify that now next thing to do is just make sure that Google Analytics is seeing the same thing it should be if you just head over to Google Analytics and go to the debug view in your admin panel um, and then you should already see that this event is being brought into Google Analytics and here we have it right and just like before if you wanted to add that as a conversion in GA4 then you can just go to um, if you copy this event name go to conversions new conversion event and just paste that in and save it that will save it as a conversion the only thing is is to mention just like with email link clicks in a previous video that we've done a phone number link click doesn't necessarily mean that that customer or potential customer or client actually called you it just means that they clicked on your phone number so it might have been a mistake it might have been that they you know decided not to call in the end so it doesn't give you a hundred percent you know um, it doesn't give you like a you know a hundred percent that you know that person actually contacted you and your business it's actually just an indication of how many people clicked on that. So, you know, it might actually not be the best thing to mark as a conversion because it's 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 not really a valuable action, or you don't really know if it's a valuable action. It might be better left as an event because you can monitor the events and see how you know monitor that user behavior on your site. But it might not necessarily be a conversion for you. So just bear that in mind. But if you wanted to add it, you can put it in and save it, right? Just like in some of our other videos, we show you how to how to do that. Um, main thing: once you've done all of that and you've tested and you've and you've got to the point where you're happy with it, you just need to make sure that you publish your container, you submit that container, right? So you go back to Google Tag Manager and you submit that 
add in a descriptive name. So we go added uh, GA4 phone number, uh, click um, event. Oop. And then you can add more description if you want. If you're working in a bigger team, you should be adding like a lot of description to help your team if they're also using the same container uh, tag manager account as you and, and container. Publish that. And just make sure, obviously, that that's gone live. It has gone live. It's published, and now that will be live on your site. So you, that will start tracking in Google Analytics. If you don't remember to publish your site, your tracking won't work um, because it hasn't been published and it's not live on your site. So you'll go back to your Google Analytics account later and go, "Well, where are my events?" And they won't be there because you never published your Google Tag Manager um, container and submitted that. But that's all done. See, it was really easy. Um, it's really easy to track. Uh, Phone number link clicks, really easy to track email uh, address link clicks. That's some of the easiest tracking methods. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, please remember, you know, add any comments. Uh, let us know how you found that. Um, remember to obviously like and subscribe. If you subscribe, then any more videos that we produce, hopefully you should, um, you know, yeah, get notified of those. And yeah, I hope that was helpful. And yeah, look forward to seeing you soon. Stop my screen recording. And yeah, see you later. Thanks for stopping by.